This is a tutorial for how to schedule and create a Zoom meeting. I've been asked this question often or a lot, so I'm just trying to make this a little bit easier on everybody, and you can just watch this video. So first off, if you don't have an account with Zoom, you're going to want to go to sign up for free, and uh, just put in your work email address. Ours is sfhoutreach at gmail.com. We do have an account, and so I, I won't actually be clicking sign up for free. But um, you do have a lot of different options for for um, accounts with Zoom. I recommend if your meetings are going to be longer than 40 minutes, they do have their minimum pay option. I think it's $10 a month. And uh, that will get you uh, lots of time <clears throat> on Zoom long enough to do a meeting like therapy or something like that. So if you do have an account, you can just go to sign in and uh, put in your information right here and your password and then click sign in. So you can see I've done this a couple other times. I tried doing one for the Friday outreach meeting and the tester meeting for tutorial, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna click schedule a meeting. And you're just going to give it a topic or a name. This is the third draft practice meeting. Oh, practice meeting. There we go. And uh, it's going to be today at 6 o'clock. Actually, actually, let's make it at like 6. Let's do like 6.30. There we go. It's going to be at 6.30. And let's say it's going to last three hours. So this button right here, recurring meeting, that's going to set up your account to... Um, open up this classroom for anybody to join regularly. And so it's it's not going to delete your classroom information. So I, I recommend just making everything a recurring meeting. Just leave this as on, on, and both. That just means people can call in if they are busy or um, they can video in if they want to. I always require a meeting password if the meeting is going to be like of a confidential nature, like if you're doing therapy or something. Um, this one's going to be really simple. One, two, three, A, B, C. If you like the Jackson 5, you'll know where that's from. <laughs> what you're going to do is you're going to end up sending that out separately with, from your invitation so that your client or students will have access to the classroom. It's like having a lock on your door. Um, so I really recommend having that meeting password so nobody walks in on your classroom or accidentally puts in the wrong number and joins your classroom and you're in the middle of therapy or something like that. And then clicking this button, enable join before host, it lets your students join the classroom before you're in the classroom. And it doesn't send them off to some weird realm of the cyber universe. It just makes your life a lot easier if they get there two minutes early, they can just be sitting there waiting for you. You're just gonna go ahead, click schedule, and then it's going to show up in your My Meeting section. So right here it says Schedule Meeting Success. And then when you click on My Meetings, you're gonna have a list of all your meetings. This was our third draft practice meeting. We're gonna talk more about what this meeting ID number is in, an, in our next tutorial. But for right now, you've successfully created a meeting and you can now send out the invitations. I'll make a tutorial for that right now and you'll be able to watch that next. Thanks for watching.